This video is rated PG for Pointlessly Gaming. Hello, welcome back to Pointlessly Gaming Plays Batman, or should I say Pointlessly Gaming only talks about Harry F Potter. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. Haha. Ha. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh dear. Uh last I forgot, time I forgot you can't actually die from pits in yeah. this game. Last time Oh Grace. We talked about Harry Potter for 40 about... for pretty much 40 too much. minutes. Um, too much Harry Potter. It was fun. No, not, not too much Harry Potter. It I'm was... putting an embargo on Harry Potter discussions. Oh, no. well, then I'm going to be silent for the next episode. Yeah, then I have nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> then I have nothing to say to you. Oh, that's right. That Liam and I are going to start our own channel where we talk about nothing but Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, with Blackjacks and Hooker. And, oh. and a singular One hooker. hooker. One hooker. <laughs> That's all. Blackjack and Hooker. Blackjack and no, that's my friend Hooker. That's my friend Blackjack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, serious Black's a bitch. <laughs> no, he's not. No, that's Bellatrix. Serious Black's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good doggo. He's a good boy. Serious Black. I hate that part. Yeah, me too. I fucking Thank hate Ellen. I hate. I, I just hate her delivery. It's so fucking dumb and cringy. Like. Are you telling me you don't love that Helena Bottom Carter plays the same fucking character in every movie? <laughs> yeah. She's pretty good in uh, Sweeney Todd. Yeah, but Mr. you can't Todd, tell me that she's hurry. not also Bellatrix Lestrange in Sweeney Todd. Yeah, she's a little more reserved, but yeah. Is she? Yeah. Bellatrix is strange is like fucking insane and wild the entire time, but like uh, whatever her name was, Mrs. Person Pie Baker. Like she at least like knew how to control her craziness so that she didn't appear crazy. Bellatrix was strange just didn't give a shit. Ooh, Mr. Todd, what's your hurry? We live in Surrey. I love Sweeney Todd. It's a great musical. Yeah, absolutely. It is. I hear you, Joanna. The only thing I know about Sweeney Todd is that one episode of The Office where Andy is in. <laughs> <laughs> Attend the tale of Sweeney Todd. <laughs> I love that episode. I know a lot of people fucking hate it just because performance cringe is like the worst cringe. Yeah. That, it is kind of unbearable to watch. It's really unbearable to watch. Like Everybody like, has been on stage off. at least once, and so seeing somebody fucking fuck up a performance is like, yeah. oh, cringe, cringe, cringe. Like, if my phone ever went off like that during a performance, I would just I would, quit. I would fucking I would, shoot myself in the head. Yeah, I would never do theater again. I would, I would take one of the sandbags and hang myself right there on the stage. Oh my god. Jesus. I know it's here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Here it is. Oof. Big man strike. What is your favorite <laughs> theater role you've ever done? Um, in high school, because that's the only theater production that I've ever done. I was going to say, I only have two roles, so. We, we did um, this, like, super abridged version of the Brothers Grimm fairy tales, like like an abridged version of most of them. And it was fun, if not a little stupid. Um, and I had like four different roles in it. And the last one I played was the woodsman in the Little Red Riding Hood. And we had practiced it a lot of times, and I did like a little bit of a stunt where like I ran jumped on a stool, ran, and then jumped, and then slashed at the wolf. It was pretty cool. Um, but on the last show of, like, the last time we were doing the show, I swung the axe, and on, like, the follow-through, the axe head went flying off into the audience. Oh, no. It didn't hit anyone. It didn't hit anyone, and it was a plastic axe, obviously. Thank like, God. from the dollar store. Um, yeah. But I kind of just like looked off into the audience as people like started laughing and I looked down at the guy who was playing the wolf And I was just like well Sorry, bud, and I just like kind of stabbed him 
like with the axe, with but the like axe as board. a stick. Um, and it was funny, and that's what I remember most about just you know, <laughs> improv. That's at least a good recovery. Yeah, that's good yeah. improv. Uh, I've only ever had two roles. Oh. I was the lead in a play called Unplugged, and it was just kind of a dumb fucking technology bad books good yeah. play. Uh, and then I was like, kind like, what's it called when there's multiple leads? I was I was one of the leads yeah. in uh, the Fall of Troy, the tale by Homer or whatever. And that one was really fun because we got to learn sword fighting. Uh, I feel really fucking bad for both <laughs> productions because I didn't know my lines until like two days before. Oh my god. Production. So I've, I've never performed without intense fucking stage fright. My stomach is in knots every time I go on stage. You were really good in Fall of Troy though. Wow. I'm just so worried I'm never ever going to remember my lines. That's fair. I have such a bad fucking memory. Memorizing shit is really hard for me. I don't know if it's because of like my attention span or what, but thankfully I made it through both. But because I didn't know my lines all the way up until like we did uh, oh, unplug, Jesus. I fucked somebody else's lines up because they had practiced getting uh, reacting to my wrong lines. That when I got my rhyme, lines right, they were like, uh, on oh, stage no. while we were performing. Yeah, I felt really bad. Oh. My so, favorite. Yeah, go on. I've only... My struggle is that the roles that I have been in were before I came out as trans. Mm. So, like, I'm proud of them all, but I also, like, have only played women. And... I don't want to. I don't want to out our high school drama teacher for transphobia. But I was gonna say I don't think you don't that think our what? school was very forward thinking. I don't think. Th well, there was a certain, there's so, apparently a certain rule in theater where, uh, like copy for copyright reasons, if you're born a, a female, you can't play a male character. What? Yeah. So. Ugh. When I finally did come out as trans, I wasn't allowed to play a male character. Jesus fucking Christ. So I played... what did I play? In 10th grade, I played Goldilocks in Thumbelina. That one was pretty good, but I have vivid cringe because there's one line I had where I had to say, uh, if you ever need me again, call me Gretchen. But I fucked up and said, if you ever need me again, called me Goldilocks. Like, I literally fucked up, like... <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I fucked up the, like, name. Call like, me Goldilocks. Our... Uh, yeah, I would. That's your name. <laughs> That's what I've been calling you this whole time. Day. I think about it every day, and it still it's haunts my memories fight. and my nightmares. If it makes um, you feel any better, I bet nobody picked up on it. Probably not. A venom plant hybrid to create the but strain. still, it got me. Plant like, strain. oh, I think about it all the time. And, like, you can see it in my co-star's face of, like, <laughs> you just fucked up. Um, was that in Thumbelina? No, it was in Princess Who Had No Name. I'll track her down. Because in Thumbelina, I played the Fairy Queen. That one was probably my favorite. Because we... It was our friend Liv who was the director of that play. Yeah. And we improved a line where like I was talking about my super important brother or whatever. And Liv had me memorize um I am the sister of Esteban Julio Ricardo Montoya de la Rosa Ramirez. <laughs> <laughs> Which is from see, like, You know what? I remember movie. that. I was there at that uh, <laughs> at that showing. Yes. So I was really proud of myself for that. Although there was one performance we did for a group of little kids where we had like this wooden tree and my wing got snagged on it and ripped off. Oh no. So one of my wings fell off on stage and I just heard a little girl go, oh, the fairy's wing fell off from the front row. And I was like, oh no. That's super cute. 
You should have clutched at your side and screamed in agony. <laughs> <laughs> I considered it. I considered letting it go of like. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> but I was like, I can't do that to those little kids. And then I also played a role in Dracula. But I can't remember who. I was like the mother of one of the important characters. But I cannot tell you who. Yeah. But it was important. <laughs> That was my uh, least favorite role, because that was the role I had to play after coming out. So, yeah. I tried everything. I was like, can we change it so it's the father of this character? And she was like, nah, nah. And I was like, okay. That's oh, fine. Thanks. Drama teacher. Who yeah. claims to be a LGBT ally. Yeah. Well, that sucks. I, I've only done two plays, but I've also done... Uh, I've, I've performed in a band, mm -hmm. and that's where my performance cringe comes in. Oh no. Because it was before I <laughs> could could sing well. <laughs> oh no. I'm sure Liam remembers my performance at our school, our elementary school. Yeah, uh, it didn't go so hot. I didn't, I didn't know vibrato or... <laughs> Notes. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're a very good singer. Thank you. I consider streaming art because I I sing while I draw. But then I'm worried I'd get I'd get in shit because I sing copyrighted music. I'll kill him first. Well, yeah. Ivy, I know Doctor Young. You so on on like Twitch and stuff. Yes. You can do it, they just don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I thought you couldn't do... You can, you just won't be able to save it as a, as a video afterwards, because they'll, they'll mute your audio. Oh. Because I've streamed with music playing before. Okay. Um, I was going to say, I've also directed... Um, I've directed... Um, a Christmas Carol. That one was oh, a fun. challenge. That one was a huge challenge. Did you come to? Where do did I you come it? to that show? I can't remember. I don't think I was invited to that one. No. Oh well, now I feel like an asshole. Um. Thanks, <laughs> Kate. Um, that one was a super challenge because be I was directing alongside our drama teacher. Yeah. We both had power complexes, so it got a little, oh, no. <laughs> a little dicey at times. But it was challenging because it was we were directing. It was for like our final project as a class, yeah. Which meant I spent the entire semester working with all the popular kids who were taking drama, not as like a serious profession, but just like as a fun thing to do. Yep. And they. I was not popular, so it was an interesting challenge. I'm still to... not popular. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I'm not claiming to be popular now. You're, but it was an pretty it was popular. An you have a lot of friends. Mm, well, yeah. Every I mean... time I talk to you, you're talking about some new person. I'm like, I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> that um, man doesn't kill people. Nah, there's water. I heard a splash. But that, it was an interesting challenge to like integrate myself into that group and by the end we were all friendly i wouldn't say friends but like <laughs> yeah it, it was interesting there was a lot of days where i cried because oh. they w they wouldn't listen to me and they were like making fun of me and like it was it, it was a, a barrier that i'm glad i overcame because it ch like changed me as a person that's good yeah, adversity does it. Although one of my biggest regrets was not acting in that play because it turned out really well. I was really proud of everyone. That's good. Was that an option? Could you direct and be an actor? No. Oh. We okay. had to choose ahead of time whether or not we wanted to be like part of the backstage crew or like the onstage crew. Yeah. And it was also a challenge because I didn't really get along with our stage manager that well. She also like had a power complex. <laughs> there were a lot of days. There were a lot of days where I had to be like, "I'm the director." Like, 
Back the fuck up. Don't worry up. about it. Like... <laughs> That seems to be a running theme with anyone who tries to be in charge of a play. Yeah. But to be fair, it's, because it is I will, job. like stage managers, stage managers do have a lot of responsibility. Yeah. But like, I was the director, so. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you heading, bud? Um, yeah, what's going on? I've been, I've been thinking about theater for the last. So, theater, yeah. so we gotta go find um, Killer Croc. Killer Croc, Croc because. <laughs> uh, we gotta go find Killer Croc because there's a plant underneath Arkham that can counteract the venom that's in the thing that's gonna turn everyone into giant fucking monsters. Um, but we gotta find Killer Croc, and since we don't know where he is, we're gonna talk to Aaron Cash, that one, like, black cop with the hook for a hand, because he knows yep. where Croc is. Um, so we're gonna go find him, and he's back in that place where we talked about your Joker hypothetical. So we gotta go back there. Wait, he was all the way back there? I thought you found him more recently than that. Nope. Well, no, oh. Clayface was disguised as him. Yeah, but I thought... We saw him after the clay face thing. Uh, no. I don't believe so. Must have just, must have just been a different black security guard, and I'm a racist. Yeah. Everyone's Whoops. A little bit racist. It's true. Are we That's allowed to sing that? The end of the song, because I can't sing anymore. <laughs> Come here. We turned on the bow. Ah, come on, keep rolling, keep rolling. Fuck. Rolling, 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 rolling. Yeah. Get him. <laughs> I want him in that water so bad. Come on, come on. Son of a bitch. I think there's an invisible wall. I don't think he can go past that point. That sucks. Can I bring up theater one more time? I Absolutely, you can. Yeah, sure. The, I just remembered when we were putting on Dracula, there was one part where we blew everyone's mind because our friend Liv and myself and a couple others worked to build like a trap door into the stage. So there was one part where like Dracula was chasing these like people around, mm -hmm. or, like that he was getting chased around, and they would like lifted the sheet to try to like trap dracula and he would like really quickly go under the trap door so when they brought the sheet down he was like gone and we kept it a secret from like the entire school that we had built this trap door mm -hmm. so when people watched it they were like what the fuck <laughs> because awesome. then he would like run under the stage and like leave and be back on stage in like two minutes and everybody was like what the fuck <laughs> And, and we did that a lot. There was another part where, like, we had fake backs to the coffins. So we had three coffins on the stage, and we opened them and sh to show that the vampires were inside the coffins. Yeah. And then we would close it, and they would leave the coffins really quickly, and we'd open them again, and the whole audience would be like, What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of fun to, like, watch the audience's reactions to that kind of stuff. Oh, it yeah. makes me miss theater so much. Yeah, I miss theater sometimes, but then I remember I'm really shit at <laughs> remembering lines. That's I miss theater. Improv. I miss theater, and then I remember I have dreams about going on stage, and then I wake up just so fucking anxious, and I'm like, never mind. I don't, I don't miss it enough to put myself through that again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oof. Right there, bats? Nope. Nope. He died oh, as no, he lived bat. in a vent. Hey, someone what? help that baby up off the floor. Hey. Hey. Are you shit with that ass, bats? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> yeah, I do. You kiss your mother with that ass? <laughs> That was a good one. 
Is this a good place to wrap it up, or should uh, we keep going? I can finish this, and then we can call it an episode, because then that'll yeah, be me. Yeah, why don't we do that? Okay. Because, Nick, you gotta go to bed. This yeah, was a bad mistake. This was a big yeah. mistake. I work in a factory, and it sucks. You work at Wayne Enterprises? No. Does Bruce Wayne offer union dues? No. <laughs> You think we got fucking health coverage at Wayne Enterprises? <laughs> Bruce Wayne's a real fucking cock bite. There's a reason they're a part of the 1%. Yeah. Gotham's patrons, my asshole. It's because we're not human to them. Yeah, it's like we're vermin, like bats. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> I'm Batman. Good one. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, at work, I work on a machine, and right on it, in bold letters, it says, Sub Ass. And I've never felt, I've never felt so on blast in my life. <laughs> never felt more called out. <laughs> what is it short for? Sub Assembly. Substitute Asshole. Oh. <laughs> but it says Sub Ass on it, and I'm like, who the fuck told this machine? <laughs> Uh, this is a YouTube channel consisting of three subs. Yeah, I mean, hit that sub button. Hey! Hey, good one. Hit my sub button, boy. Ew! <laughs> what? <laughs> Why you? Why is that you? Fuck you! I'll hit your sub button. No, that's, that's my face! Said. I know. Oh, can Batman straddle me like that? Well. All right, on that no, on that note. Anyway. <laughs> uh, next time on Batman Arkham Probably Asylum. Probably more fucking Harry Potter. Yeah. Probably. I held back that time. Yeah. <laughs> we only mentioned. I was holding back. A couple times. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go. What are we doing? We're gonna go find Killer Croc in probably the worst fucking part of the game. Uh, we're gonna go find Johnny Cash. Look forward to it. Yeah. We're <laughs> gonna find Johnny Cash. Um. Yeah. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye bye. Am I sinking into the floor? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Am I sinking Batman, into the floor? Okay? Oh god. It's happening. Batman doesn't have feet. We gotta end it now. What the fuck? Batman. Batman. What the fuck? <laughs> He's fine. Okay. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>